Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video we are going to be looking at the Bandai Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star Series Goku and Super Saiyan Goku. Just like Vegeta, these guys are essentially the same figure, they just have different hair and different color schemes. So we're going to be able to cover it all in one video. So if you didn't see that the Vegeta video, go ahead and check that out. But these, just to get this started, these are not meant to be replacements for your figure arts line of figures. These are meant to be a, a less expensive, uh, kind of a, a toned down version at a much lower price point. And I think for the price point, these guys are pretty darn good. So let's go ahead and get them off the stand and take a closer look. Super Saiyan Goku stands at about 14 and a half centimeters to the top of his actual head and then about 17 and a half to the top of his hair. Regular Goku stands, should be about the same, not counting the hair. Uh, yeah, about, about 14 and a half to the top of his head and then let's say eh, a little shy, about 16 and a half centimeters to the top of his hair. So, you know, they're not bad figures. It, Considering the price point, I think they're fine. The only real drawback on these guys, other than minor limitations here and there, I think these, maybe not so much Super Saiyan, but regular Goku has kind of a funny look on his face, and I think it's mostly paint. The sculpt seems okay. I don't know. It's not terrible. It's definitely stylized. It's good enough, probably, but... Yeah, whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a real quick comparison, because I know you guys are going to want to do some size comparisons. So I'll have photos at the end so you can see, but Vegeta is a little bit shorter than Goku. Definitely not accurate based on how much shorter he should actually be, but we actually have that same problem with the figure arts line. They're often not the right scale either, and so you can see here... Vegeta is probably more accurately scaled, this Vegeta is more accurately scaled with Goku, but it's still off, so... You know, there's there's not much you can do about that. I don't have any of my figure arts Gokus to compare this to, unfortunately, so I can't really say. But I have given you guys height measurements in all of those videos. So if you want to check that out, you can do it. Now, each of these guys both come with two fist hands and then two open hands for whether style pose or Kamehameha or whatever you want to do. So that's pretty cool. And I have heard that these hands are interchangeable with the figure arts hands. So if you want to do that you do have that option. Now the paint on these guys, it's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. Super Saiyan doesn't really have too much shading going on. We just have the blue paint throughout, and then they did paint the boots. It's not the best paint job in the world, but it's definitely okay. Paint job on the face is pretty clean. It's not too bad. The hair is nice and metallic. It is a separate mold from the face, so there's no bleeding or anything like that. For this Goku, we actually have shading throughout all of the orange, which is pretty cool. Uh, no shading throughout the skin for either of them, and his blue and, and boots and everything are pretty much the same. The face, like I said, it's a little questionable for the eyes, but otherwise it's okay. Now, as far as articulation goes, let's go ahead and just use this Goku. Let's use this one. The head is just on a ball peg, so it just rotates around. It has a little bit better range than Vegeta, though, so you can make it lean up and down. You can lean it side to side. It's pretty good. It's not too bad. For the shoulders, same problem as Vegeta. You can't raise the arms very far out to the side, but you do have your full rotation, so that's pretty nice. You have your bicep swivel right there, and your double jointed elbow works really, really nicely. He does have the ball hinge wrists, which is pretty fantastic. We don't ever get that on domestic figures, not too often anyway, so that's pretty cool. For the waist, it has the floating belt piece, which is kind of cool. It's not entirely necessary, but it is cool, and it does make for a really clean paint job. He can lean forward and back a little bit, and then you get your rotation. Just a tiny bit of leaning side to side. For the hips, it's just like the figure arts. We have the hinged ball peg, which do drop down to give you better range. So you can raise the leg up pretty far. It's not too bad. Going out to the side... Again, it's not too bad. It's It basically has the exact same setup as the original Goku figure. So for the hips, we have your thigh swivel built in, drop down hinge, and then for the knees, it's almost the same design again. It's really, really similar. So it's not particularly good looking, but it has almost the exact same range and design. So, you know, for a $20 figure roughly, it's really not too bad. And then for the ankles, again, just like the figure arts, we have a ball peg. So yeah, th these are not meant to be exact replacements. They're, they're definitely at a lower price point, but I think for that price point, it's a heck of a figure. It's not too bad at all. So these are going to be a great alternative for kids, perhaps, or if you're just trying to fill a spot or whatever. They're close enough in scale that I think you can make it work, and they're definitely fun enough. I mean, I think they're... 
I wasn't interested at all in these. And then they said they were going to send them to me so I could review them. And I got to be completely honest with you guys. I was like, I have no use for these. I already have the figure arts. And that's true. If you have the figure arts, you really don't need these. But if you're looking for something for your kid or something, these are fun figures. I can't... I've had them sitting next to me while I've been playing video games and stuff, and I keep messing around with them and posing them and stuff, and they're definitely fun figures. So I'm going to give you the recommendation if you're buying them for the right purpose. These are not a substitute for figure arts. I want to be clear on that. But for what they are, they did do a really good job. So there it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.